Thank you. Come on, somebody appreciate the kings of King Lord. We give you glory and honor. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Somebody say hallelujah. We thank you, God, this morning because you have given us power and authority so that we can praise you. As we enter in the session of praise, I just want to welcome all of our viewers wherever they are so that we can praise together. If you are seeing us, lift up your hand and appreciate the kings of kings because of the good things he is doing in our life. Lift up your voice and appreciate the kings of kings. Hallelujah! Amen. Just clap your hand to Jesus. Amen. Namjua Aliamba Aliya Nioko Nibana Yesu Ni Namjua Aliamba Aliya Nioko Nibana Yesu Ni Namju Namjua Aliamba Aliya Nioko Ni bwana Yesu namjua aliye mamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu ni namjua namjua aliye mamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu namjua aliye ni pauzima aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu ni namjua Namjua aliye mwamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu amenipatia uzima amenipa mapito yangu aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu ninamjua aliye mwamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu ninamjua Namjua aliye mwamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu amenipa amani amenipa furaha aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu ninamjua ninamjua aliye mwamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu namjua Namjua aliye mamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu amenipa uzima amenipa siku ya leo ili mimi nimrudishie ni bwana Yesu namjua aliye mamba aliye nioko ni bwana Yesu na mchua haliye mwamba hame kuokoa chame ni cheza tu kwa madaha kwa sababu hakuna kama ye haliye kupatia uzima ilo katangazi muzi tunaye pumuwa niyabure inge likuwa tunayinunua haunge likuwa mesimama na muzifu magonjo hata pita mbali kwa sababu ye ndia haliye mwamba Beza tu kwa madaha kwa sababu Bwana kiupande wetu hakuna atakaye kwa kinyume nazi Nampe nipa uzima Hame nipa uwezu Halie ni yoko wa Ni Bwana Yesu ni namjua Ni namjua Halie mwamba Halie ni yoko wa Ni Bwana Yesu Hame nipa uzima tene Hame nipa mani tene Hame ni okua Ni bwana Yesu Namjua Namjua Aliye mwamba Aliye ni okua Ni bwana Yesu Namjua Aliye mwamba Aliye ni okua Ni bwana Yesu Ni namjua 
Inamjua Inamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye nioko Ni buwana Yesu Pikia tu Yesu makofi chame Inamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye nioko Ni buwana Yesu Inamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye nioko Ni buwana Yesu Inamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye nioko Ni buwana Yesu Haya pika tumakofi Sababu tumekombole wana nema Yesu Chese ya buwana Yesu tu Sababu yu anema Hiko chio ufahamu wetu bwana Tunakwabudu bwana My God is good My God is good My God is good Lord, we long to hear our Lord open our inmost ear 
so that you can hear from you, Jehovah, my yes, God. Jesus. We surrender everything to you in the mighty name of Jehovah, Father. Guard our ways. Guard our mind, God. For all viewers who are listening to us, Jehovah, my God. May you give a humble speech so that they can listen what our pastor is going to preach, God. We thank you because you are here, God. We thank you because you have been with us, Jehovah, my God. Thank you because of the system of praise and worship. Lord, I cover them by the power of Jehovah, Father. As we sit down to listen to your word, God, Lord, protect us. No any weapon, Lord, form against us shall prosper, Lord. We thank you because you are here, God. We thank you, Lord, as even we end up, Jehovah, my God, you will be with us, Jehovah, my God. We bless your name because you are here. In the name of Jesus Christ, our beloved Son, we pray you as we believe. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whenever you are at the influence of my voice, can I hear a better amen? Amen. Yes. Here we are. I thank God we have celebrated. We have worshipped God. We have praised Him because He deserves all our worship and praise. Amen. He deserves it all. Praise the Lord. Amen. So where you are, my sister, my brother, I know that you have been worshipping together with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. I can see many comments. People are commenting because they are together with us in this wonderful worship this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As our brother has just declared when he was praying that no weapon fashioned against your life shall prosper. Praise the Lord. Amen. No weapon fashioned against me or you today shall prosper in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because we have been brought or built in a better foundation, in a better promise. Praise the Lord. Our topic today is no more delay in your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. No more delay in your life. Whatever has been delaying you to reach your destiny, to reach to your canon, whatever has been delaying you to, uh, to go where God prepared for you, where God set for you today, we, ha we are here to, to, uh, to, to, to speak against it that it's not going to have part in your destiny in Jesus name. Can I hear a better amen? amen. Can I hear a better amen, amen as we take our positions to sit down so that we can listen to the word of God today. Praise the Lord. No more delay. Tell somebody no more delay. Kama umekua ukikawia katika maisha yako sema hakuna kukawia tena. Hakuna kuchelewa tena. Umekuwa mtu wa kuchelewa kila wakati kufika katika hati mayako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Today we are here to declare no more delay again in your life in Jesus name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Hakuna hatima itakayocheleweshwa tena. Kama vile neno la Mungu linasema kwamba hakuna silaha iliyoundwa kinyume na wewe. Mungu anaposema hivyo anatangulia kusema yeye ndiye Mungu aliyemuumba muhunzi afukutae silaha ya uharibifu. Yes. Ndio maana anasema hamna silaha kwa sababu yeye ndiye mwanzilishi wa kuumba silaha zote. Kwa hivyo hata peana ruhusa ama kibali kwa silaha yoyote iweze kukudhuru wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ako na uwezo wa kukontrol wala ambao wanaumba silaha wanatengeneza silaha za uharibifu na ako na uwezo wa kuzuia ya kwamba silaha ya uharibifu ikose kufika kwa maisha yako praise the lord kwa hivyo nataka tuende kwa sababu ya masaa asante kwa wala ambao wanaendelea kuwa pamoja nasi kwa wakati huu unapotuma comments zako tunazipokea Mungu akapate kuwabariki mnapoendelea kuwa pamoja nasi Mungu awasi awapate kuwajalia na kuwatenda mema asubuhi ya leo Tumesema hakuna hatima itakayocheleweshwa tena Hakuna kucheleweshwa tena katika maisha yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nataka tusome kwa ufupi kitabu cha First John ijapokuwa ya kwamba maubiri yangu hayako hapo lakini nataka mwanzo tukaweze kusoma kitabu hiki 
ndiposa tuendelee first john 5 first john kiliandikwa na paulo mtumishi wa mungu 5 tuanzie 13 tusome tu 13 na 14 kisha baadaye tuende katika andiko letu la siku ya leo i write these things to you who believe in the name of the lord the son of god so that you may know tuanzie 14 tafadhali samahani biblia inasema kwamba this is the confidence we have in approaching god praise the lord this is the confidence huu ndio ujasiri tulio nao tunapo mkaribia Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe najua wakati mwingi tumetiwa uoga unashindwa huyu Mungu ni wanamna gani naweza kumkaribia kweli ninataka kukwambia kwamba kunao ujasiri tunapomkaribia Mungu na ujasiri ni huu praise the lord that if we ask anything according to his will tunapo ulizia chochote kulingana na mapenzi yake Biblia inasema ya kwamba he hears us praise the lord anatusikia and if we know that he hears us na kama tunajua ya kwamba yeye anatusikia whatever we ask we know that we have what we ask of him praise the lord Amen. kama tunajua ya kwamba anatusikia basi tunalo hakikisho ya kwamba chochote tunachomuulizia tuko nacho praise the lord Amen. kuna wakati ambapo umekuwa ukiulizia you ask a miss you pray a miss unashindwa kuzunguka katika maisha yako ya kwamba nimefunga nimeomba manabii wamenitabiria lakini sioni kufanikiwa kwa maisha yangu sioni kuendelea kwa maisha yangu ndio maana nimetangulia kukusomea waraka wa Petro wa, wa, ya, ya, waraka wa Yohana wa kwanza alipoandika Paulo alitupatia hakikisho ya kwamba chochote tunachoulizia kwa Mungu tumehakikishiwa ya kwamba anatupatia iwapo tu utauliza kulingana na mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo somo letu la siku ya leo liko katika kitabu cha Genesis 15 Genesis 15 a god who fulfills his promises praise the lord we serve a god who fulfills his promises hata kama ni ahadi ambayo unaona kwamba ni ya uchungu katika maisha yako i know of a god who fulfills his promises praise the lord hakuna kuzunguka tena katika maisha yako na tunapokubaliana na wewe leo ya kwamba no more delays No more delays. Hakuna kukawia kwa hatima yako. Praise the Lord. Huu ni mwezi wa saba. Mwezi wa saba. namba saba inamaanisha Mungu anayetimiza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na mwezi huu Mungu anaenda kukutimizia na anaenda kukuliwa liwa na nzige. Bwana Mungu anaenda kukuregeshea. Bwana Mungu anaenda kutimiza. Anaenda kutimiza namna gani? Kwa kukufikisha katika hatima yako. Wacha tusome andiko hili niposa tujue ya kwamba kuna kutimiza ahadi kwa Mungu. Mungu ambaye anatunza maagano. Tuanzie 13 15:13 Genesis 15:13 Then the Lord said to him No of certain that your descendants huyu ni Abraham Mungu alikuwa anazungumza na ye. nataka kuambia kwamba a god who fulfills is here today with us praise the lord your descendants will be strangers in a country not their own in a country not their own and they will be enslaved and ill treated 400 years praise the lord hizo ni miaka mingapi nimekuambia no more delay nataka uweke kalamu yako ama upige mstari kwa 400 years ndio uone vile shetani anaweza kukuchelewesha hata kama kuna wakati ambao it's a set time for god to deliver you na shetani anaweza ongezea muda wake which is not according to the will of god praise the lord wana wa israeli walikuwa wakae misri kwa miaka 400 kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu. 
but I will punish the nation they serve as slaves. And afterwards, they will come out with a great possession. Praise the Lord. Tena tunatambua hapo chini ya kwamba ijapokuwa, walikuwa wakue watumwa katika ile inji ya misri. Lakini kuondoka kwao, mungu wanasema ya kwamba they will come out with a great possession. Praise the Lord. Na we umekukika katika maisha ambayo ni ya kuzunguka manabii wamekutabiria wakakwambia 2020 mwezi wa sita ndio ba, si, mwa, mwezi wa baraka yako na umeangalia mwezi wa sita imepita umeanza mwezi wa saba i declare to you i prophesy to you you are coming out of your situation with a great possession praise the lord you are coming out of that situation with a great possession this is a God who fulfills his promises. Praise Jesus. He is a God who fulfills his promises. Nataka tuende katika kitabu cha Exodus. Niposa ujue kuna kukawia. Kuna kukawia katika maisha. Na huko kukawia leo tunakata. Ya kwamba hatuta kawia tena. Mana ni mapenzi ya shetani sisi kukawia. There is always a set time for God. For you to come out of that problem you are in right now. And I believe that this is the very time. The very prime time that God has declared unto your life. That you are coming out of that problem. Amen. Agree with me that you are coming out of that problem in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Tunasoma kitabu cha Exodus, Exodus 12, tuanzie 40. Now the length of time, the Israelites, the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430. Mwana Yesu asifiwe, mungu aliambia Abraham, wataishi miaka miane, mungu sio mwanadamu adanganye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu sio mwana wa Adamu, aseme uongo. Akisema utaishi katika hii hali kwa miaka miwili, mpendwa haitakuwa miaka miwili na moja. Praise the Lord. Tunakataa hiyo roho ambayo imekuwa kiturudisha nyuma kila wakati, wakati ambapo Mungu amesema tutakaa Nairobi kwa miaka 30 kisha baadaye, baada ya miaka 30 utafly uende inji nyingine. Umeenda kwa makanisa, manabi wamekutabiria. Wamekwambia ya kwamba, huu ni mwaka wako wakufly. Na unapata ya kwamba, unabi huo hautimi. Kwa nini? Hayo sio mapenzi ya mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Diposa tuna end up kula umu watumishu wa mungu ya kwamba muna nena. Maneno yala mboe hayatimi. Unaanza pia wewe ata kuwapiga vita. Na andiku ya kwamba tutawajua kwa matunda yao. Maana alinitabiria nitaenda na sasa sijaenda. Leo ni kwa hapa kukuambia kwamba. Unabiu wa buwana ulikuwa wakweli katika maisha yako. Lakini shetani ameanda delay ili upate kunungunika. Buwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Sisi hatuta nungunika. Buwana Yesu wa pewe sifa. Hatuta lalamika. Hatuta sema hawa manabi hawa semi ukweli. Maana ata hii hali ambayo tukomo leo. Kwa watumishi wengine walitabiri ata miaka nane. Kuna mtumishi wa mungu walitabiri 2008. Ya kwamba kuna magonjo yala mboya tashuka katika dunia yote. Na ekonomi ya dunia itarudi chini. Buwana Yesu wa pewe sifa. Kama wanadamu wakawaida tungesema ni uongo, maana kwanzia 2008 wenda maisha ilikuendea vizuri, lakini leo ni 2020. Unapata kwamba unabi ule umekuja kutimia. Kwa sababu gani? Kuna unabi wa muda murefu. Na tumeaidiwa ya kwamba mungu atakuja kutenda na letu ni kungojea unabi wa buwana utimie. Praise the Lord. Niposa haba kukwa nasema kwamba I will stand in my position. Nitasimama kwenye zamu yangu. Praise the Lord. After prayer, after committing, committing my, my, my desires, after putting them to my God, after giving God a chance to work on my prayers, I ha you have to watch. You have to stand in your tower and watch what God is going to answer to your prayers. Praise the Lord. 
sio kwamba unamkabidhi Mungu maombi na wewe unaondoka hapana utasimama umngoje Mungu anaye atakaye kujibu na hawa ni wana wa Israeli wakati ambapo Mungu ameambia mtumishi wake Abraham ya kwamba watoto wako wataishi katika nchi ya utumwa kwa miaka nne na shetani anakuja naongeza mwaka moja, mbili, tatu, mpaka miaka salasini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa nini hizi miaka ziliongezeka? Hizi miaka ziliongezeka kwa sababu deliverer wa wana wa Israeli, mkombozi wa wana wa Israeli alikuwa ameingiwa na uoga na ametoroka. Praise the Lord. Maana mkombozi alikuwa ni Musa. Na Biblia inatuambia kwamba Musa aliondoka na alipoenda aliishi miaka zingine 40. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa 40 years. Akiwa ameishi nje ya Egypt. Na hiyo ndiyo wakati ambapo ilikuwa in between the, pro, the promised years za Mungu ya kwamba anaenda kuwaondoa wana wa Israeli kutoka katika nchi ya utumwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Musa alipoondoka ilichukua tena miaka mingine 30 kuongezea kwa zile miaka ambazo Musa alimaliza miaka 40 akiwa nje hizo miaka 30 ziliongezeka zilikuwa hapo hapo ndani Bwana Yesu apewe sifa lakini leo nimekuja kukutangazia ya kwamba no more delay kama wewe ni mkombozi wa familia yenu na familia imeishi kwa mahangaiko kwa muda mrefu. Nataka kukuambia kwamba leo Mungu anakurudisha kwa position yake. Maana huyu ni Mungu yule ambaye alimurudisha Musa kwa nafasi yake. Hata wakati Musa alikuwa amekimbia, Mungu alimregesha na akamwambia ni wewe utakaye kuomba wana wa Israeli. Musa akawa na uoga, akamwambia Mungu sitaweza. Jambo la kwanza, mimi siwezi ku kuwa na usemi mzuri mbele ya farao. Jambo la pili, mimi nilifanya makosa na najua kwamba farao ananitafuta. Sitaweza. Maana mimi nitatangulia kuangamizwa. Lakini Bwana akiwa na wewe hautangamizwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Musa hakuangamizwa. Maana ahadi ya Bwana ilikuwa juu yake ya kwamba ni yeye atakaye komboa wana wa Israeli. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa ni yeye ndiye aliyekuwa anaenda kukomboa wana wa Israeli kutoka katika nchi ya utumwa kwa hivyo mpendwa hautaangamia hautaangamia usihofu ndani mwako kila siku tunapoamka biblia inatuambia kwamba usiogope usihofu ndani mwako maana mimi niko pamoja na wewe mpaka mwisho wa dahari bwana leo yuko pamoja na wewe akutimizie kile ambacho alianza katika maisha yako na kama wewe ni mkombozi wa taifa la Kenya atakutumia wewe simama katika zamu yako mpaka wakati mza alipochukua hatua ya kusema mbona kichaka hiki kinateketea kinaungua lakini hakiteketei chukua nafasi ya kumsongea Bwana ili ujione ndani ya Bwana ili Bwana adhirishe nguvu zako ndani yako Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. 30 more years of delay haitakuwa haitaongezwa hata moja katika maisha yako. Kama 2020 ilikuwa ni mwaka ambao Mungu aliahidi ya kwamba wewe utaondoka from your slavery, uende katika destiny yako. I have come to declare to you that even corona cannot stop you to enter your destiny. Hallelujah. Even that disease cannot stop you to enter your destiny praise the lord even that sickness cannot stop you to enter your destiny hallelujah bwana yesu apewe sifa bwana yesu ainuliwe nimekuja kukutangazia ya kwamba hiyo hali ambayo uko ndani huo umasikini huo ufukara hautakusimamisha wewe kutokufika katika hatima yako bwana yesu asifiwe No more added year for you to reach to your destiny. Yes. Hakuna mwaka mwingine ambao utaongezewa kama mwaka wa kucheleweshwa. Yes, This is your year. Yes. This is your time for you to enter your canon. Tunakataa ya kwamba delay haitakuwa tena katika maisha yako. Mafunzo haya ni marefu sana. Maana natamani kuona mtu akitoka katika hiyo ufungwa wa shetani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen.
enenda pamoja nami lazima tutoke katika hiyo hali Tumesoma 40 inasema now the length of time the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430 tukapata kwamba 30 years were added to them hazikuwa zao kukaa pale 30 years ilikuwa ni additional time na wenda ililetwa na shetani nasi tunaikataa ya kwamba kwetu hakutakuwa hata na siku moja itaongezwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai Biblia inasema kwamba at the end of 30 years to the very day na hivyo ndo itakuwa katika maisha yako leo to the very day siku hiyo hiyo baada ya miaka 430 na salasini. kwa sababu gani Musa alikubali kutumika na Bwana haleluya Musa alikubali kutumika na Bwana ndio maana ilipofika salasini siku hiyo hiyo Mungu akaamuru akasema kwamba ni kutoka ni kutoka kutoka ni kwenda katika hatima yetu ni kwenda kanani yetu ni kwenda inji ya ahadi yes. katika maisha yako hautaongezewa siku hata moja nimekataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe huyu Mungu tunayemwabudu ni Mungu mtunza maagano praise the lord tunapoenda katika kitabu cha Danieli Daniel 9 kitabu cha Danieli tisa. Tutapata tena pale pia kuna kucheleweshwa. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Amen. Daniel 9, kitabu cha Danieli tisa. Tusome moja. In the first year of Darius, son of Saxus, a Mede by descent, who was made a ruler of Babylonian kingdom in the first year of his reign i daniel understood from the scriptures according to the word of the lord given to jeremiah the prophet that the desolation of jerusalem would last 70 years so i turned to the lord praise the lord nataka tushikilie pale ya kwamba wakati danieli alijifunza ya kwamba mateso ya wana wa israeli yatakuwa mauharibifu kwa wana wa Israeli utakuwa kwa miaka sabini Bwana Yesu apewe sifa utakuwa wa miaka sabini kulingana na, na nabii wa Mungu Jeremaya Jeremaya alitabiri akasema kwamba Israeli wataenda utumwani kwa miaka sabini Praise the Lord maana ni nabii wa Mungu Na ninajua kwamba tunamjua Jeremaya as a prophet of doom na kuna manabii wengi wala ambao wewe umejua wamekutabiria katika maisha yako kama tu vile na Dabi Jeremiah alitabiri wakati wa Danieli akasema ya kwamba ni miaka sabini Israeli itakuwa katika utumwa na wakati ambapo Danieli alienda katika vitabu maana kitambo kulikuwa na vitabu vya kumbukumbu alienda katika vitabu vya kumbukumbu wakati Dario alikuwa mfalme Alipoenda katika vile vitabu vya kumbukumbu maana tunajua Danieli alikuwa msomi zaidi akajifunza jambo moja anasema ya kwamba in the first year I Daniel understood from the scripture praise the lord alielewa kutoka kwa maandiko Danieli alikuwa mtu aliyekuwa na hekima ya kuelewa na akaelewa kutoka kwa maandiko ya kwamba huu E, ma, ma, mateso ama utumwa wa wana wa Israeli ni wa miaka sabini na sio sabina moja na sio sabina mbili na sio sabina tatu ama mia moja ilikuwa ni sabini na Mungu akisema sabini amesema Bwana Yesu asifiwe Danieli akamwomba Mungu I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayers and petition in fasting and in sackcloth in and ashes praise the lord danieli akamgeukia mungu akajua kwamba mungu haukuaidi miaka sabina moja. wewe mungu ulisema ni miaka sabini. na haitaongezwa hata mwaka mmoja bwana yesu asifiwe turuke twende 19 biblia inasema kwamba wakati danieli alikuwa naomba 
akamwambia maana ilikuwa ni toba Danieli alikuwa anamkumbusha Mungu yale maneno ambayo yalifanya wao wakaenda utumwani akatubu kwa niaba ya mababu zake maana miaka sabini kuna uwezekano kuna generation ilikuwa imeondoka na nyingine na nyingine lakini Danieli akamwomba Mungu akamwambia Mungu wa mbinguni ni ombi langu ya kwamba utusamee kutoka kwa mababu wale ambao walitenda dhambi wakasababisha sisi kwenda utumwani Danieli mtumishi wa Mungu akalia kwa sauti ku akaomboleza kwa kufunga na kuomba na kumtafuta Mungu na kama itawezekana mpendwa tunajua katika taifa la Kenya tuko na watumishi wa Mungu wale ambao wanaelewa maandiko kuna waka, kuna, wakati huu kuna makanisa yale ambayo yameungana kuingia katika mafungo ya siku kumi pendwa ningekuwa encourage ya kwamba ingia katika maombi na kama itakuwa ni mafungo ingia katika mafungo kasirika na hiyo hali useme ya kwamba no more delay in Jesus name praise the lord hakikisha kwamba generation yako haitakuwa delayed even a single day kama ni kuondoka ni kuondoka praise the lord daniel akamwomba mungu akamwambia oh lord listen oh lord Forgive O oh Lord hear and act for your sake Oh my God do not delay praise the Lord Today we are here to tell God Oh Lord listen Oh God act Oh God hear Do not delay Lord Isikawie siku hata moja Isikawie dakika hata moja kama wakati wangu wa kwenda katika hatima yangu imefika despite where i am maana wakati ambao ni wanehemaya mtumishi wa Mungu kujenga ukuta wa Yerusalemu ulipofika haikujalisha nehemaya alikuwa cup bearer wa mfalme nehemaya alisema wakati umefika alipojifunza kwamba wakati umefika Yerusalemu haipaswi kukaa bila security alichukua nafasi yake akaondoka akamtafuta Mungu akafunga na kuomba akaomboleza akawa na uzuni mpaka uso wake ukaonyesha uzuni hapo ndipo Mungu alichukua nafasi akaingia ndani ya mfalme na mfalme Ahasuera akampatia Nehemiah kibali cha kwenda ku, kupata tena kujenga kuta ya Yerusalemu na mimi najua ni wewe ndio Nehemiah wa familia yenu. Na mimi najua wewe ndio Nehemiah wa nyumba yako. Na mimi najua wewe ndio Nehemiah wa Kenya ya leo. Wewe ndio Nehemiah wa kabila lako. Ondoka mpendwa. Isiongezwe siku hata moja. Isisase si, dakika hata moja. Masaa yako ya kuondoka ikifika uondoke. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna wengi wala ambao walikuwa wasafiri Januari, Februari, March, April, May, June na sasa tuko Julai. Uko na hiyo passport kwa nyumba. Hata ulikuwa mpaka na visa umeshaipokea. Unasema kwamba ni wakati wangu umefika wa kuondoka. Tiketi yako ilikuwa ishakatwa. Lakini kwa sababu ya magonjwa haujasafiri. I have come to declare to you no more delay in your life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tungeendelea. Tungeendelea zaidi ya hapo na naamini kwamba tutaendelea Jumapili ijayo kwa sababu ya wakati. Kwa sababu ya muda. Maana nataka niombe na wewe. Nataka niombe na wewe. Nataka niombe na wewe nitangaze ya kwamba shetani hauna nafasi ya kutuchelewesha kufika katika hatima yetu. Naona watu wanazidi kututazama, watu wanazidi kuandika comments zao. No more delay. I refuse no more delay in your life in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. No more delay. Haitaongezwa siku hata moja. Leo imetosha imetosha. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hakuna kitu itakukomesha kufika hatima yako. Dakika nimekwambia sio siku tu, hata dakika moja haitaongezwa. Kama ulikuwa ufly this month, believe my words. Praise the Lord. Kama ulikuwa safiri mwezi huu, uruke na ndege 
kama usafiri na gari na kuhakikishia kwamba utasafiri. Mungu wa mbinguni ataprovoke hata airport ifunguliwe kwa sababu yako. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Hakuna kitu hakiwezekani na Mungu. Hakuna jambo haliwezekani na Mungu. Hata mimi nilikuwa niruke mwaka huu na ninakataa kwamba hakuna tena kucheleweshwa kwa hatima ya meri. Hakuna tena kucheleweshwa kwangu mimi kufika katika hatima yangu. Nakumbuka wakati mmoja tulikuwa na dada Christabel tukiulizana nani atatangulia. Akawa yuko na passport yake mimi ni nikona yangu. Tunajitabiria wenyewe na kusema nani anatangulia. Nikasema ni wewe. Akasema ni mimi. Na leo tumecheleweshwa kufikia huu mwezi. Kufikia huu mwezi tulikuwa tungefanya mambo makubwa na mimi nimekuja mbele yako kusema ya kwamba mimi na wewe hatutacheleweshwa tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe hakuna kucheleweshwa tena. Praise the Lord. Lazima tuende tufike katika hatima yetu. Nimeimba wimbo wa kwenda kana ni kwa muda mrefu na wengi mumejua ya kwamba nimekuwa nikiimba nasema ninaenda kanani ninaenda kanani na sitarudi tena Misri na leo nimeamua ya kwamba this is my exodus month this is my exodus day huu ni mwezi wangu wa kutoka huu ni mwezi wangu wa kutoka hii ni siku yangu ya kuondoka i declare to somebody somewhere that no more delay in our lives in jesus name tukimalizia hapo ili turudi tena wiki ijayo tukaweze kuendelea maana sitaki watu wacheleweshwe katika hatima zao wacha tukasome waebrania hebrews 8:6 katika kitabu cha waebrania tusome mstari wa sita. biblia inasema ya kwamba but the ministry jesus has received pendwa sikia hiyo ilikuwa ni old testament old covenant na sisi tuko kwa new covenant ya Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai praise the lord tumejengwa katika misingi mpya kama mababu zangu walicheleweshwa mimi sitacheleweshwa because the ministry Jesus Christ received is a superior to theirs as the covenant of which he is a mediator in superior to the old one praise the lord this one is higher than the old one praise the lord this covenant is higher than the old covenant i declare today being found in the new covenant we are set ready to go to our destiny no more delay my brother refuse refuse kata kata ya kwamba hakuna kucheleweshwa kuingia katika hatima yangu hatutacheleweshwa mpendwa eh hey, yesu we. and it is founded on the better promises praise the lord not a promises god promised abraham ya kwamba watoto wako ya kwamba vizazi vyako vitakuwa utumwani kwa miaka nne. sisi tumepatikana kwa 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 agano bora kwa ahadi bora to the better promises ahadi yetu ni bora kuliko ile iliyokuwa ya kwanza bwana yesu apewe sifa bwana yesu ainuliwe tena tunasonga katika kitabu cha waebrania mbili tusome mstari wake mdogo wa 24 leo ni kuondoka ni kuondoka hakuna kukama ali pale tena 24 Biblia inasema kwamba to Jesus the mediator of a new covenant and to the sprinkle to the sprinkled blood that speaketh better word than the blood of Abel haleluya tunajua kwamba abili alikuwa katika agano la kale Bwana Yesu asifiwe na sasa Yesu yuko katika agano jipya. He is the sacrifice that had made us to to receive this better promise from our God. Praise the Lord. Yeye ndiye saka na dhabihu ya pekee inayotupatia access ya kwamba vile tulivyoanza tulisoma tukajua ya kwamba ya kwamba tunapoomba tuko na hakikisho ya kwamba tunachoomba tunapewa. Na leo niko hapa kukwambia kwamba tunaomba kuondoka kwenda kanani yetu. Haleluya kama kuna dhambi iliyotendwa na mababu damu ya Yesu Kristo inaenda kunena 
inaenda kunena msamaha inaenda kunena kufunguliwa inaenda kunena baraka katika maisha yako hii wiki yote nitakuwa na nena nitakuwa nasungumza kuhusu kuondoka it's a week of exodus we are coming out of that slavery we are coming out of that disease hata corona iishe wiki hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo uchumi wa Kenya urudi ili tukapate kuendelea katika maisha yetu ndoa yako kama ulikuwa umeaidiwa na Mungu ya kwamba utaolewa huu mwaka wa 2020 mwezi wa saba ni, uh, ni Mungu anayetimiza ahadi yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe hakuna kubaki nyuma kwa hivyo popote ulipo pendwa sijui ni nini umechelewesha pendwa sijui ni nini na kuchelewesha mpendwa sijui ni nini na kurudisha nyuma mimi niko hapa ni kutangazia ya kwamba tunapokubaliana katika ndiko la Bwana as Daniel understood the scriptures here we are to understand the scriptures may God give you the spirit of understanding now may you understand that you have been delayed in your life to reach your destiny and this is the set time for God to take you to, a, to your canon to take you to your destiny in the name of Jesus I have come to declare to somebody that we are going to our destiny praise the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa kwa hivyo kufikia pale kwa sababu ya wakati ningependa kuomba na wewe lakini tutaendelea wiki ijayo na maubiri haya maana nataka watu waondoke tutakamilisha wiki ijayo nataka watu waondoke nataka watu waondoke waende kanani yao bwana yesu asifiwe nataka watu waondoke waende kanani yao nataka tumwambie farao wa maisha yetu ya kwamba imetosha. Nataka tumwambie Farao imetosha. Inuka miguuni mwako. Inuka miguuni mwako mpendwa popote ulipo. Inuka miguuni mwako ili tukaweze kumwambia Farao imetosha. Naye Mungu wa mbinguni aweze kubariki na kukuinua na kukupeleka katika destiny yako. Haleluya. Kukupeleka katika hatima yako. Tunaondoka mpendwa. Hakuna kucheleweshwa tena. Wiki hii nitakuwa na wakati wa mafungo na kama uko na wakati ingia katika mafungo ya siku tatu ili tukaweze kumwambia Bwana atuinue na atuondoe ili tukaende katika baraka zetu. Tuende katika baraka zetu. Kwa hivyo kabla sijaingia katika ma, ma, kat, kabla hatujaimba tumwambie Farao ya kwamba tunaondoka ningependa kuomba na wewe. Maandiko yanasema kwamba iwapo tu utaomba, iwapo tu utaulizia kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu, niposa Mungu atakufanyia. Na labda hauko katika mapenzi ya Mungu, na ungependa kuingia katika mapenzi ya Mungu. Kwa wale ambao wametuma comments zao Mungu wa mbinguni aweze kuwabariki na aweze kuwainua na aweze kuatia nguvu hatutaweza kusoma leo kwa sababu ya wakati hatutaweza kusoma kwa sababu ya wakati na shukuru Mungu naona mamlea papa Moses na kuona naona Rispa naona watu wengi kabisa na nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili yenu Mungu akapate kuwabariki na kuwainua kama haujaokoka sema ombi hili nyuma yangu ili wakati ambapo tutakuwa tunaomba wiki hii kama Mungu atakujalia ukwe katika mafungo Mungu akaweze kusikia maombi yako sema Bwana Yesu nisamee dhambi zangu ambazo nimetenda kwa kujua na kutojua na ukanioshe kwa damu ya Kristo. Asante Mungu wangu. Futa jina langu toka katika kitabu vitabu vya mauti na uliandike kwenye kitabu cha uzima wa milele. Asante kwa kunifanya kuwa mwana katika ufalme wako. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini. Kwa hivyo baada ya hapo unaweza tafuta huduma ambao uko karibu na wewe ili ukaweze kujijenga kiroho na pia utatufuatilia kwa mitandao na wakati ambapo makanisa yatafunguliwa karibu kwenye kanisa letu tuko huruma mimi naitwa pastor Mary Nyokonyo na hudumu katika kanisa la River of Life Christian Fellowship International hapa huruma kama wewe ni mkazi wa huruma karibu ili tukaweze kuenenda pamoja katika huduma huu na Mungu wa amani aweze kuwabariki Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo nataka Niombe kabisa nimalizie. Ninapomaliza sisi tutamaliza tukiimba wimbo. Amen. Na pia kama uko na sadaka yako kuna nambari yetu kwenye 
simu yako mahali ambapo unatutazamia naona kuna nambari yetu mahali pale unaweza tuma sadaka yako kwa namba hii asante kwa wale ambao wamekuwa kisimama nami ili kuhakikisha kwamba ujumbe unafikia watu wa Mungu kwenye mitandao maana inagarimu pesa kuna vitu zile ambazo hatujanunua bado tunahitaji na tunajua kwamba Mungu akikuguza utasimama nasi wiki hii na shukuru Mungu watu wengi sana nimekuwa nikiamuka asubuhi hata napata mpesa kutoka kwa watu ambao sijui lakini nimekuwa nikiwaombea ya kwamba Mungu najua hawa ni washirika wala ambao umenipatia wananifuata kwenye running kwenye kwenye simu kwenye FB kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii kwa YouTube kwa FB yetu na nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili yenu kwa hivyo wacha tuombe tunapoombea pia matoleo yako ambao utatuma kwa wiki hii ili Mungu akaweze kubariki baba Mungu wa milele nasema ni asante kwa ajili ya watu wako tazama mimi nime peana neno lako kulingana na roho wako mtakatifu ndani yangu. Nami nakushukuru kwa sababu hata mimi Mary ninaondoka na watu wote wala ambao wamepata kusikia ujumbe huu. Tunaondoka tukienda kanani yetu katika hatima yetu. Tunakataa kucheleweshwa, tunakataa kurudishwa nyuma ya kwamba Mungu wewe uko pamoja nasi. Kama ulikuwa umepeana miaka mbili kwa ajili ya sisi kuyaona haya, Mungu unajua kwamba baada ya miaka miwili ni sisi kuondoka kwenda katika hatima yetu hatutacheleweshwa wala hatutapotoshwa njia uinuliwe na upate kuabudiwa maana we ni mwema na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo pia nakumbuka saka na matoleo na ambayo watu wako watatoa kwa wiki hii na wala ambao wataingia katika mafungo Mungu wacha ukajiwajibie maana wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu jibu maombi yao wanaosimama nami baba katika matoleo yao naomba Mungu wa baraka ukaweze kuwabariki maana maandiko yako yanasema kwamba Mungu kono unaotoa umebarikiwa na pia pandacho mtu ndicho atakachovuna na atavuna zaidi maana kitazindiliwa na kusukwa sukwa na kutingizwa na pia kumwagika kile ambacho Mungu utapeana kwa watu wako asante kwa kuwa wewe ni mwema we ni mwaminifu na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini sema amen sema amen, amen. pigia Yesu makofi yako mazuri kwa sababu ya wema na uaminifu wake. Kwa hivyo nataka tumwimbie Yesu mwambie Farao nimeokoka. Hatutarudi tena Misri. Haleluya. Wacha tukaribisha wana sifa ili wakapate kutuimbia. Aha. Yesu haleluya. Yes, why you? Hallelujah. Cheza kwa Bwana. Yes, why you? Kweli mambie farao nimeokoka. Mambie farao wa maisha yako. Usinyamaze. Mambie farao nimeokoka. Sitarudi tena Misri naenda kanani. Mimi mambie farao nimeokoka. Sitarudi tena Misri naenda kanani. Mambie farao nimeokoka. Sitarudi tena Misri naenda kanani. Mimi mambie farao Mwambie Sirudi tena Misri naenda kanani leo Mwambie Farao nimeokoka Sitarudi tena Misri naenda kanani Mwambie Farao nimeokoka Sirudi tena Misri naenda kanani mbaye Mwambie Farao nimeokoka Sitarudi tena Misri naenda kanani Wachungaji kwa eri leo tumekombolewa eh 
Dudi ni tena mizeri Tuaenda kanani Mwambie farao Nimeogoka Sitaoni tena mizeri Naenda kanani Waliyo sema kwamba watu wezi Tumekombolewa Dudi tena mizeri Tuaenda kanani Mwambie farao Nimeogoka Sitaoni tena mizeri Wa imachi kwa eri leo tumeokoke turudi tena misiri tuenda kanani mbihe farao sana tumeokoke sita uli tena misiri tuenda kanani e wa mwa levi wote ni me kumbole wa na Yesu sirubi tena misiri tuenda kanani yawe mbihe farao sana Jamani chesa tu kwa madaho, kwa sababu mungu amekukomba watena. Farao na jeshi la kesesa, naona bahari kipasuka kenga mi na kundi la ke. Walio sema kwa baha ufaulu, unaenda bele. Hallelujah.
jamani ndio maana sisi tunampatia sifa kwa hivyo popote ulipo najua kwamba umefurahia kuimba pamoja nasi na next week karibu kwa kipende kote time amen karibu tutaweza kumsifu bwana kwa kipende kote tukivuka na kwenda kabisa maana itakuwa ni kilele ya kwenda kwa hati mazetu hakuna kurudishwa nyuma kwa hivyo Mungu akubariki kwa sababu ya muda Mungu akubariki akutie nguvu na akuinue. Mahali popote ambapo ulipo, sema mimi ndio nehema haya. Jiambie mimi ndio nehema haya. Wa kujenga kuta za familia yetu. Mimi ndio nehema haya. Wa kujenga kuta za taifa langu. Mimi ndio nehema haya. Wa kujenga kuta ya dunia yote. Na Mungu amekudhamini na atakupatia resources zile ambazo unahitaji kwa ajili ya kujenga ukuta wake. Shalom, shalom. Tutakutana katikati ya wiki panapo majaliwa ya Mungu. Mungu aweze kukubariki. Haleluya. Amen. Salimia mtu aliye karibu na wewe. Amen.